Do we really need to see celebrities eating healthy and exercising in order to do it ourselves? Well, be prepared to see more of Jessica Alba, Michelle Obama, Cam Newton, and Colin Kaepernick on our first and second screens because they just launched a new campaign for the Let's Move initiative today called F and V, which stands for fruits and veggies. Nick, do you think we need to be seeing celebrities doing healthy things in order to be doing them ourselves? Well, I think it's nice to see that celebrities are taking time out of their busy schedules to do things like this. It's cool. But at the same time, I, I kind of think that it should be the parents that are really pushing their kids so that we don't need to do things like this in the first place, you know, because I don't think childhood, childhood obesity was such a problem you know, 30, 40 years ago as it is now. I agree with you. I think the parents have a big influence on what their kids eat and what they purchase. But I think, you know, yeah, they're, the majority of obesity in this country is adults and they kind of trickle it down to their children. So yeah, they have so much influence, but celebrities also are coming out and being seen as quote unquote experts in health and wellness. You have people like Cameron Diaz, and then you have Gwyneth Paltrow, who's really big on exercise and food, and she's seen as a health expert. Is that why she named her son or daughter uh, Apple? <laughs> Probably, <laughs> to influence people to eat fruits and veggies. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that would have been really smart if Michelle Obama asked her to, but no, I think it's interesting that you have all these celebrities going around and being seen as experts. It says so much about our culture as a country, yeah. you know, that we rely on celebrities to influence us and we're so taken by them. Don't you agree? Yeah, and it does say a lot about our culture that we're fat, too. I mean, let's be real. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, it's like you see celebrities being pushed on everything f from advertisement to things like this, and that's what they're there for, kind of. It's like we listen to everything they say, and it's like, so where are our priorities here? We're kind of putting our health, our children's health, their fitness on the back burner. We're so into and in love with all these celebrities. It's like, what does that say about your cul the culture, you know? It's like, and now we're going to use these celebrities, these things that we love, mm -hmm. to get us to care about things that don't really matter, like fitness and health, which I'm being sarcastic, obviously, because it's <laughs> the exact opposite. But I hope so. But what's interesting is when they launched this campaign last year, sorry, not last year, in 2011, they had people like Beyonce and Shaquille O'Neal, and there was a lot of controversy around it because they were endorsed by soda brands. Uh. So now at least they're getting people, celebrities that are really into health and wellness, and they're truly aware of what's healthy and what's not. But what's also interesting is they have Chick-fil-A, who mm -hmm. is financially backing the campaign. So I'm, I, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of scrutiny around that, but I find it interesting that you know they do need money. It's like a million dollar campaign. They're starting with social media. They're planning on doing TV ads, and they have Chick-fil-A financing it. Yeah, which is a little bit, okay, it's easy to sit here and say, yeah, that's really ironic. We got mm -hmm. a fast food company yeah. pushing, you know, the, the very reason our kids are so obese, but at the same time, they do take responsibility for it. And you see a lot of these companies coming out and giving a lot, like McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, giving a lot of money to charity and stuff because they owe it. They owe it to uh, the community, the nation, really. Yeah. If not the world, shoot. <laughs> I definitely agree with you. We want to know from you here at The Lip TV, do you think that having people like Jessica Alba, Cam Newton, and Colin Kaepernick are really good influence on the Let's Move initiative and the F&V campaign? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching The Lip TV and subscribe to the channel for more.